Okay, so number eight, it says gravel is being dumped from a conveyor belt at a rate of 20 cubic feet per minute. Its coarseness is such that it forms a, uh, a pile in the shape of a cone whose diameter and height are always equal. How fast is the height of the pile increasing when the pile is 10 feet high? <clears throat> All right, so basically it says we're getting a little cone forming. Okay, they said it's being gravel's being dumped at a rate of 20 cubic feet. So what that says is it says the change in volume with respect to time is 20 cubic feet. I'm always bad about my units. I leave them out. Um, it says it's in. It basically says the diameter and the height are always the same. So kind of like the uh, cylinder problem. So we know that the diameter and the height are the same. So I'm going to label it as h and h. They say that um, they want to know how fast the height is changing. So dh dt, and they want us to do this when h equals 10, when it's 10 feet high. Well, the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared times h. So just like before, the radius of this thing is going to be one third pi. The radius would simply be h over 2 squared times h. If you simplify it down, 2 squared is 4. We'll get pi over 12 times h cubed. That'll be our volume. <clears throat> well, if we take the derivative with respect to time, we'll get 1 dv dt on the left side. On the right side, the pi over 12 we leave alone. The derivative of h cubed will be 3h squared times dh dt. And if we plug in our numbers, we'll get <clears throat> pi over 12 times 3 times h squared, so 100 times dh dt. That's what we don't know. Um, kind of sorry, cut off there a little bit. <clears throat> dh dt. We know what dv dt is equal to. That's 20. So we just erase all the junk in the middle and solve it. It says that dh dt is going to be equal to um, 20 on the left divided by pi over 12 times 3 times 100. And I calculated this, and I got this roughly to be equal to um, 0.254648 feet per minute.